being a refugee, actually my sister always, when she wants to encourage me, she tell me, uh, show them the refugee or she will do. Uzra Martini's a swimmer. She's also a refugee. Now, just seven months after she fled the Syrian capital of Damascus, she hopes to qualify for this summer's Olympic Games in Rio. Uh, today I'm uh, happy to announce uh, the uh, creation of uh, the Olympic team of a uh, team of uh, refugee Olympic athletes. She wants to represent the refugee team, which is expected to offer around five to ten places to those who achieve specific standards for their chosen sport. In the water there is no difference if you are a refugee or Syrian or, uh, or German. I think in the water is just the water, you and your uh, competing uh, mate. <laughs> if she achieves that dream, it'll have been quite the journey she's been on. Her family travelled to Lebanon, then on to Turkey, before enduring the life-threatening crossing to the Greek islands of Lesbos. From there, there was more travel through Europe before she eventually reached the German capital. It wasn't long after her arrival that she was introduced to a swimming club near her refugee centre. It's the same pool that was built for the 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin. Now she hopes training there can take her to the actual Games. It feels great, actually, to uh, inspire a lot of people and to go through uh, your own uh, dream, too, uh, which is my dream from, like, 10 or 12 years. A girl who's truly gone to great lengths in order to achieve her dream.